Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is 2a squared minus 2b squared this is equal to 98 given that a and b is greater or equal to 0 and that a and b these are element of natural numbers so what is the value of a and b? now let's prevent the solution from here Now we have 2a squared minus 2b squared. This is equal to 98. So since 2 is common here, we can factor out 2 so that we have 2 into the parentheses. a squared minus b squared. This is equal to 98. So let's divide both sides by 2. So that now, here we have a squared minus b squared, this is equal to 49. Now, the next step from here, we have that a squared minus b squared, this is in the form of x squared minus y squared, which is the difference of two squares, which you can express as x plus y, x minus y. So this implies that here we have a plus b, a minus b, and this is equal to 49. So the next step from here is to express 49. That is, we get the prime factors of 49. So that means that 49, we can multiply 49 times 1, so that we have 49. Then we have 1 times 49. Then we have 7 times 7 will give us a value of 49. So in this case, we have three cases. We have three cases from here. This is the first case, second case, and the third case. So let's start with case one. Let's start with case one, which is A plus B, A minus B. This is equal to 49 times one. So this implies that here we have a plus b, this is equal to 49, and a minus b, this is equal to 1. So these are two system of ring equations. So let's add these two system of ring equations. We have a plus a, this is 2a. b plus minus b, this simplifies. And then we have 49 plus 1, this is equal to 50. So divide by 2 from here, so that now a is equal to 25. So this implies that here we can solve for b. Remember we have a plus b, this is equal to 49. So given that a is 25, so we'll have 25 plus b, this is equal to 49. So that b is equal to 49 minus 25 and therefore b is equal to 24 so this implies that the first set of solution that is a comma b this is equal to 25 comma 24 so this is the first set of solution and these are natural numbers so let's proceed to case 2 from here now case 2 here we have a plus b a minus b, this is equal to 1 times 49. So this implies that a plus b, this is equal to 1, and a minus b, this is equal to 49. So these are two systems of ring equation. So let's add these two systems of ring equations. So you have a plus a, this is 2a, and then we have b plus minus b, this simplifies. So this is equal to 1 plus 49, this is equal to 50. So let's divide both sides by 2 from here. So that now we have that A is equal to 50 divided by 2, this is equal to 25. Let's solve for the corresponding value of B. We have that A plus B, this is equal to 1. Substituting the value of A, we have 25 plus b, this is equal to 1. 
so that b is equal to 1 minus 25. So this implies that b is equal to minus 24. So we have that a comma b, this is equal to 25 comma negative 24. So here we have negative 24, which is not a natural number, and therefore this solution is rejected. So the solution under case 2 is rejected. So let's proceed to case 3. Let's proceed to case 3 from here. Now let's proceed to case 3. In case 3 we have a plus b. Here we have a minus b. This is equal to 7 times 7. So this implies that a plus b, this is equal to 7. And we have that a minus b, this is equal to 7. Now, this is a system of two linear equations. So let's add these two system of linear equations. So we have a plus a, this is 2a. And then we have b plus minus b, this simplifies. So that this is equal to 7 plus 7, this is equal to 14. Then let's divide both sides by 2 here. So that a is equal to 7. Now, we have that a plus b, this is equal to 7. So this implies that we can solve for b. That is b is equal to 7 minus 7, and therefore b is equal to 0. So this implies that a comma b, this is equal to 7 comma 0. So therefore, we have that 2a squared minus 2b squared, we have the solution set, that is a and b, we have that a and b, this is equal to 25, comma 24, and we have 7, comma 0. So these are the set of solutions for this algebra problem. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. Kindly like this video and subscribe. If you have alternative formulas, kindly don't hesitate to showcase in the comment section. You can show these formulas in the comment section if you have an alternative one. And if you, if you want to support the channel, you can give the super thanks that is under the comment section. You can support the channel by giving the super thanks that is under the comment section. This one will help the channel so much. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.